Hey everyone, with all the buzz surrounding Black Myth Wukong, it's hard not to get excited about what's going on. The stunning visuals, the epic story of Sun Wukong, and those jaw-dropping boss battles have us all eagerly waiting for its release. But amid all of this anticipation, there's one aspect of the gameplay that might not be getting the attention it deserves, and it could potentially impact our experience in a significant way. Today I want to talk about the combat system, specifically the three staff stances. Now I already went through this in a video that I've uploaded a couple days ago. If you want to check that out, the link will be in the description. But if you look at it at first glance, it seems like a great way to add depth and variety to the gameplay, no doubt. But there's something I and I know a lot of other people have noticed that might not sit well with everyone. As I watched the gameplay and studied footage and analyzed the demos, one thing stood out to me. Despite the ability to switch between different staff stances, the basic attacks remain largely the same across these stances. So you can't really tell when you even switch to it. Now, this might seem like a minor detail, but in a game that relies heavily on its combat mechanics, this could lead to a sense of redundancy. Variety in combat is crucial for keeping players engaged, especially in action RPGs where repetitive mechanics can quickly become stale. If each stance doesn't offer a distinct feel or set of moves, we might end up with a system that looks diverse on the surface but feels repetitive during extended play sessions. And you know people are going to be playing this for hours on end. But don't take my word for it. Let's compare this to other games in the genre like Saikiru or Nayo. In these games, Every stance or weapon change significantly alters your approach to combat. Each has its own strengths, weaknesses, and unique movesets that force you to adapt your strategy on the fly. That's what keeps the gameplay fresh and challenging. However, if Wukong stances don't offer this level of differentiation, we might find ourselves using the same attacks regardless of which stance we're in, and we won't even know we're in that stance. This could undermine the potential depth of the combat system and reduce the overall excitement during fights. Now don't get pissed off at me in the comments section because I'm just highlighting something I've noticed and I know some of you have noticed it as well because I've seen people comment it on my videos. But ultimately, what does this mean for the final game? Well, it's too early, honestly, to make any definitive judgments, but it's something worth considering, I think. With the hype surrounding Black Myth Wukong, expectations are sky high. Players will be looking for a combat system that's not just impressive, but also mechanically satisfying. If this issue persists in the final version, it could lead to a small disappointment among players who expect more variety in their combat experience. On the other hand, if the developers address this, or if there's more depth to the system that hasn't been revealed yet, or something we don't know about, it might not be a problem at all. But that's where I want to hear from you. Have you noticed this in the gameplay footage or demos? Do you think this could be a deal breaker or is it a minor concern in the grand scheme of things? Let's get a discussion going in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here for more Black Myth Wukong content. Stay tuned for more insights, critiques, and gameplay breakdowns as we get closer to the release. Until next time, be right out. Oh yeah, and if you want to see that video I made about the three staff stances, it's right here. Other than that, I'll see you in my next video.